Farm Guy here and in this video we'll be looking at and testing out the truck mounted spreader by Ninja 02. This, uh, this is for all platforms, PC, Mac and console. I'm on PS5 here on uh, Fox Farms and this is for Farming Simulator 22. Uh, this is uh, 20 slots on console and uh, is a shining example of uh, what can be done by modders when they really pay attention to the details. And I'll talk about a little bit more about that in a moment. It's a bit of a pet peeve of mine of which this has addressed all and checked all the boxes really on something that should, you would think, should be the standard for all mods. And this has set the bar at the top. Uh, first of all, where do we find it? We'll find it under vehicles and trucks. Yes, under vehicles and trucks, although it is a fertilizer spreader, that is where we'll find it. 500 horsepower, manual transmission, 400 liters of fuel, 49 mile per hour top speed, uh, up to 14,000 liters capacity and spread with 36 to 48 meters at 18 miles per hour. Yes, 18 miles per hour speed, working speed, uh, lime and fertilizer. Let's have a look at it. So the standard one is 9,000 liters and 36 meters spread width, which is already really good. But we have extensions of a small extension, which puts it up to 1,100 or 11,000 liters or extension big, which uh, gives you the option to change the color on the tank. Does that, uh, oh, design color, rim color, main color, what did that add? Small, big, oh, cover. Uh, you don't have the cover with the big model. Uh, 14,000 liters, I swear, what's changing here? Oh, the cover. Uh, so let's stick with small, small extension for now to take a look at that cover. We have uh, wheel brands of Trailerberg Continental BKT. And in Trailerberg, we have a, a wider version. That's all for tire options. We have the cover option for the small and standard, of which I don't have an example of, so we'll, we'll buy this one. Spreading discs. We have the standard or the 48 meter version. That aids eight grand, but uh, it is a definite upgrade. Main color is you'll have the standard man red and green for no charge, and then into the the giant's palette of colors for three grand. Design color is going to be your tank and your spreaders if you have attached those. And uh, rim color, oh, five grand for changing the color. 300 for standard palette colors or if you want chrome it's five thousand dollars uh let's see does that charge no no charge if you want to go red or stainless but anything else is going to cost you a thousand dollars for color for the tank and then we have license plate right so no uh, color option for the the cover let's start it up uh L1 and side opens a cover like that. So if you want the cover, that's what it does. L1, and if you have the extension on the back, L1 and X unfolds those arms. Interior, pretty much standard man or MAN truck. Uh, no other options other than uh, the standard ones you would expect. Horn. Just a standard air horn, which is fine. Lights. Uh, beacons. Manual transmission up to 10... Which speed? How many speeds? 12 speeds. It, it gets up and goes pretty good. Uh, pretty much based on the um, base game MAN truck, I'm pretty sure. It looks pretty much 
uh, like they just slapped a, uh, well, you say slapped a um, spreader on the back of it. Uh, it is a very, a very nice adaptation or modification of some base game items. Now, let's, um, let's jump over to here. So here is the base model, just straight up purchased right on the store. No options with fertilizer inside. If we hop in and hire a worker, he has been very, um, very efficiently, not, not to say that the spreading is efficient, that the worker is efficient in using this. No overlap, no missed bits, very fast, 19 miles per hour, and a very nice widespread width. Uh, as he comes up to the end, you can watch the turnaround. Pretty much no, not a lot of backing and forthing. Um, and as he comes around, you will need a little bit of space at the ends, uh, obviously, because of the spread width that he's working with here. But as he comes to the spot, turns on and away he goes. Very nice. We'll stop him there. Let's go back over here. Now this is the same, uh, except with the extended 14,000 liter capacity and the extended width with fertilizer, as you can see here, much wider, but still just as fast. And if we wait for the end, the worker comes around. So now this modder here, Ninja, O2 has done something that some of the bigger modders and more or less, shall we say, famous modders have um, failed in is that um, having the workers actually perform um, the work according to the working width that the the item has. A few a few modders that I will leave unnamed have nice wide working widths but the workers mm, either miss stuff or overlap incredibly much to where it makes it totally useless for workers as you can see this is works perfectly with workers very nice i applaud him <laughs> as much as i possibly can now um so a lot of times what happens is the uh the fertilizer uh, spreading works fine, but then you go to the lime and it's all messed up. However, not in this case. As you can see, yes, the lime spreading width is smaller. As a matter of fact, it's um, 16 meters as opposed to the 36 that the fertilizer spreads, but the worker recognizes this and uh, when spreading lime he adjusts his uh, pattern or his working pattern to uh, perfectly conform to the spreading width and without any excessive overlap or missing anything carries on with spreading lime now, of course it's going to be used up uh, quite a quite a bit faster than um the fertilizer uh, same with the extended width on the lime same thing here uh, the worker recognizes that the width uh, has changed and he is spreading lime and so carries on and without excessive overlap or missing anything and no missing the ends a very complete coverage now of course there's a and I'll show you the turnaround there. I can actually, you know what, we'll do that here. Just to show you. Although I know it works because I've been testing it. But if we set him off here. He covers every little bit of the field. No missed bits. And with the turnaround. Very precise. And efficient in the turnaround. And starts off very nicely and no overlap or missing anything so all in all um, a very excellent modded version of some base game stuff and obviously some customizing 
but this is how it's supposed to be done. This is what you expect at this point in the game. Um, although it's it is expected, uh, it's rarely achieved at this level. So very nice. This is the truck mounted spreader by Ninja O2, 19.73 megabytes to download, 20 slots on console. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So till next time. Bye for now.